Hi, I'm Riggs Zanotti for Relate Corporation, and this is a Captivate Quick Tip. How to use a preloader. If you're like a lot of people, you're loading Captivate movies, and they seem to be loading a little bit slowly. Why is that? Well, there's probably one big reason, and that's your preloader is either not on or it's on incorrectly. Let's go to Edit and Preferences. And from here, you want to go to the project area and go to your start and end options. And lo and behold, what do we see? Preloader. And the preloader is turned on by default. Well, guess what? It's also set up to 100% of preload. That means 100% or your entire piece will load before anything runs. Not exactly good for performance. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you bring that number down, let's say to 20%. So what that will do is once 20% of the piece is loaded, it will start running. Now 20% still may be a lot. Let's say you have a pretty large piece or if you have a linear piece where you know that everything's going from beginning to end with not a lot of branching, well then you could make it 10%. That will help your Captivate piece load rather quickly. And you have other options. You can select from Action Script 2 preloaders, Action Script 3, uh, you can customize the artwork and you can create your own preloaders if you'd like. But the default preloader works pretty well as long as you set it to not 100%. Now if you have a piece that does a lot of branching, you're going to have to play with this number because it may be 30, 40, 50% depending on how fast you branch. If you have a menu within Captivate and it branches out way far into the piece, well you may actually have to preload 100% or once they hit the menu you'll have to wait a little bit until that section loads. That's it, how to use a preloader. For Captivate, I am Rig Zanotti with Relay Corporation. Thanks for listening.